Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about the particle in the box model extended to two and three dimensions. Remember that we got that the expressions for the weight functions is basically the product of terms that look very much like the solutions for the one-dimensional problem. And the energy is the sum of terms that look very much like the terms that we had for the one-dimensional problem. The weight functions explicitly written are here for two dimensions and three dimensions. You can see the products, they're all the terms look very similar. And then we have the normalization constant. The energy, there's this factor that is constant, and then you have two terms that add up to the energy in each one of those directions. Three dimensions, just the extension for the extra dimension in the uh, coordinate z, the same way that the energy has one additional term because the particle is moving in the z direction. Now, one interesting thing about the particle in box in higher dimensions is that now there's the possibility of finding different states with the same energy. There are officially different states because the quantum numbers are going to be different, but they end up having the same energy. And this is what we call degenerate states. Consider, for example, a square or a cubic box, depending if you're in two dimensions or three dimensions, where basically the dimensions or the length on each of the sides are equal to one another. And think about it in terms of the energy. What you're going to have is if the two dimensions are equal to one another, you can factor out this L square value because now they're not different. So you factor it out and your constant value, your constant term becomes all of these numbers put together. And at the end of the day, you end up only with uh, the quantum numbers that can vary independently from one another. Now, think about from this expression the different combinations that you can have of changing numbers, quantum numbers x and y. For instance, you can have n equals n x equals two and y equals one, and vice versa, n x one and y equals two. But since you have the sum of those terms, when you put n squared, n x squared plus n y squared, this gives you five, which is the same as if you have one square plus two squared, that's also five. Same idea will correspond whenever you have three dimensional problems, where you keep your constants, and then it's just the addition of the squares of the quantum numbers, again, that can vary independently. Take, for example, an x2, in y1, and z1, and the multiple combinations you can have, that's going to give you six times this constant. For this one, four plus one plus one, six. The other option would be that nx equals one, n y equals 1, and n z equals 2. So all those combinations, all of them will give you 6 times this amount of energy. Now, in the case of the two-dimensional problem, we have these two states with exactly the same energy. We call this energy state double, doubly degenerate. In the case of the three-dimensional problem, because this particular energy is the same for three different uh, states, we call that a triple degeneracy. You can put that in an energy diagram, and then you will find that, depending on the combinations of the quantum numbers, you will have the generacies that correspond to each one of those values. If you think about the whole expression that we have here as a constant that I'm calling just an alpha, and then you plot the energy divided by that alpha, then this plot is just in terms of that constant. Two times that constant, five times, eight, ten, and so on. And then you can keep just going exploring different numbers that you have for each of them. Now, the question for you is, how will those degeneracies look like in an energy diagram for the case of a three-dimensional box? I will give you some hint about uh, the first state with degeneracies, plus the one that I didn't explicitly write here, but that I mentioned. So how this diagram will be completed with that information and thinking about in terms of energy alpha, what is all these terms clumped together? 